Mishle, Proverbs 5. My son, attend unto my wisdom and bow your ear to my understanding that you may regard discretion and that your lips may guard knowledge. For the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb and her mouth is smoother than oil, but her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps take hold on Sheol. Lest you should ponder the path of life, her ways are movable, that you cannot know them. Hear me now, therefore, O ye children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. Remove your way far from her, and come not nigh the door of her house, lest you give your honor unto others, and your years unto the cruel, lest strangers be filled with your wealth, and your labors be in the house of a stranger. And you mourn at the last, when your flesh and your body are consumed and say, how have I hated instruction and my heart despised reproof and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me. I was almost in all evil in the midst of the multitude and assembly. Drink waters out of your own cistern and running waters out of your own well. Let your fountains be dispersed abroad and the rivers of waters in the streets, rather, and rivers of waters in the streets. Let them be only your own and not strangers with you. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice with the woman of your youth. Let her be as the loving hind and pleasant roe. Let her breasts satisfy you at all times and be you ravished always with her love. And why will you, my son, be ravished with a strange woman and embrace the bosom of a stranger? For the ways of man are before the eyes of Yahuwah, and he ponders all his goings. His own iniquities shall taketh the wicked himself, and he shall be held with the cords of his sins. He shall die without instruction and in the greatness of his folly, he shall go astray.